So I want no dramas. Another hot topic that I want to talk about is Chris Ingham. I can't believe I'm admitting this. Why are cheese bites so good? Answer me that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously by the title, today I am doing a mukbang. Mukbang? I don't know how you say it to be honest with you. But what I do know is I'm obsessed with watching these videos. So I thought I'd do one myself. Also an excuse to eat a lot of McDonald's. I don't even know where to start. We've got cheeseburgers, we've got McChicken sandwich, chicken nuggets, cheese bites, chips. And I've also got to try, I'm going to put this milkshake on the floor because I feel like it's going to get spilt. I also got the crispy fiery buffalo wrap to try because I've not tried it yet and I quite like spicy things. I've also got some sweet curry sauce. I've never tried it before from McDonald's but I see lots of people talking about it. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Why are their sauces so difficult to open though? I'm going to start with a bit of a cheeseburger. Mmm. Sorry if you hate people talking with their mouth full, I do as well. But I feel like in a mukbang you just have to. I promise I have been raised right and know it's not the right thing to do. The first thing I want to talk about is Instagram. I want to talk about like the pressures of Instagram because recently I've been trying to up my Instagram game. Believe it or not, you'd never know if you looked at my Instagram. Follow me by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have been trying to up my Instagram game. However, I feel like no matter how much I try, I'm never going to be able to be on the level of an Instagrammer. Probably because of things like this. I know it's a very common topic of like, don't compare yourself to people on Instagram, their life's not real. But no matter how much you remember that, you can't help but think about it. Oh, I just got the gherkin. Sometimes I like the gherkin, but I have to be in the mood for it. I'm a bit bored of this cheeseburger already, I might move on. You know, you see all these girls with perfect bodies and perfect faces and they're so pretty and their hair looks amazing. They've got their nails done. They've always got a nice outfit on. But because I'm in like the same industry as them, oh, these sauces drive me insane. And I know it sounds so stupid because it's not a big deal and I know that it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Like no one cares if your feed matches or how many outfit pictures you've taken that week and things like that. Honestly, this whole mukbang is just going to be me trying to open the sources. Someone on my Instagram messaged me recently asking how I'm so confident, like self-confident things. Honestly, I'm not. Most of the time I look like I do today, like not much makeup on, hair thrown up, wearing comfy clothes. I have days where I don't want to leave the house because I feel horrible about the way I look. Sometimes when I go out, I just hope that no one recognises me because I know I look awful. So I don't really feel like I'm that qualified to give advice on how to be self-confident because I'm not. To be honest, I just try my best and I just try to not think about what other people think. These chips are cold. It just takes practice, honestly. If you don't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. And the more you do it, the more used to it you'll get. Why are cheese bites so good? Answer me that. Another hot topic that I want to talk about is Chris Ingham. As I'm filming this, he uploaded his video two days ago, I think. If you didn't know, he uploaded a video called The Reason For My Silence. To be honest with you, it was a massive, like, victim claim, trying to make himself the victim, which we all know is not. So if you ask me, pointless video. My opinion on it is that in the video he talks about the stress this is putting on his family and he said before somewhere in a message or something I read that, that his family have been threatened like he might lose his children and things like that. And he goes, the stress this is putting on my girls, like my girls shouldn't have to go through this. Mate, it's not everyone else's responsibility to think about your family. You should have thought about your family. So I don't have any sympathy for him. The only people that I have sympathy for in this situation is one, the girls that he's messaged and two, his children, because his children don't have anything to do with it. Lots of people say they feel sorry for Sarah, but I'm not gonna lie, if I was Sarah, one, I wouldn't be in Australia with the family just run away from everything. Two, I wouldn't have stayed silent about it. She might be in denial, she might think that nothing's happened, but to me it's pretty obvious that he's not as innocent as he's making out. But I can see why if she loves him that she'd try and ignore all that, but it's not the right thing to do. These are good today, they're well crispy. McChicken sandwich is my favorite thing from McDonald's, honestly. If I had to choose one thing, it'd be this. Is that not just godly to you? It is to me. Bit of barbecue sauce on there. Gourmet, I'm telling you. Gourmet. And someone also asked what I think Chris Ingham should do next. He should make another video and he should say, look guys, I'm really sorry. I feel like I've not gone about this in the right way. If he feels like he's done anything wrong, he should admit to it because I think people would respect him a lot more for that. At the minute, I think, I think he's in denial. I think he thinks he's innocent, like genuinely. On the other hand, I think surely he's got to know that I mean, deleting comments, blocking people, ignoring the situation for like a month or whatever it was is not the right thing to do. I think he needs to make a video, he needs to sit down, he needs to address all the allegations that have been made, he needs to speak to the girls directly as well, whether that's via private message or in the video. And I think he needs to apologise for everything that he's done and he just needs to say sorry. Honestly, if he just said, I apologise for what's happened, I know it's not right, and I'm going to move on and work on it, I think people will be a lot happier with that. So, Chris Hum. Put your wallabies down. 
put your koalas down and apologise. Lol, I'm so thirsty. Good job I've got a drink right here. People have been commenting on my videos recently saying that all my channel has become is hauls and what I eat in a day videos. First of all, I agree it has become that because they're my two favourite videos to film. Like, I absolutely love filming hauls. And what I eat in a day videos are also my fave. And to be honest with you, I get a lot of positive comments about my what I eat in a day videos. They don't get like the most views or anything like that, but people like them, so I want to make them because I enjoy making them as well. But I do get the odd comment like, she doesn't eat enough or she didn't eat that much in this day. But I'm pretty sure everyone, oh, I've dropped lettuce in my barbecue sauce. Some days I eat lots, some days I don't eat that much. That's just how it goes, that's just what I'm like. But more often than not, I do eat a lot. And I try not to film the days where I eat a lot of food because I know that for one, my diet isn't the best. My diet's not bad by any means. Like this for me is a very rare occasion. In fact, I've never bought this much McDonald's in my life. Mm -mm -mm. What was I saying? There's just no win. My lettuce is falling out, what a shame. So yeah, I have gone into the like hauls fashion-y side of YouTube a bit more recently because I've discovered that I love doing it so much. But I've had a couple of comments like, you do so many hauls and things like that and it has, I'm not gonna lie, it has affected me a little bit. So I'm putting myself on a hauls ban. I'm gonna say to myself, I'm not allowed to do any hauls for like three weeks at least. Because I do wanna be more original with my ideas. I wanna try different things. I wanna do things like this, like the mukbang. I wanna do more challenge videos. I'm gonna burp really sorry. I'm going to be vlogging the next couple of weeks so make sure you up to date on them and I just want you to know that I'm taking your comments on board and I'm going to act upon it so don't want no dramas. Chicken nuggets. Look at the beauty of it. Well crispy mate. Oh we've got me sweet curry sauce. I might try that. So while I try and open this sauce. Oh my god it's an easy one. No way I was not expecting that. Sweet curry sauce already my fave. I can't believe I've never tried this. I feel like people either love it or hate it. Mmm. Oh, I like it. It's like, it's the kind of curry sauce you get with the Chinese. I've never spent more than a tenner on McDonald's. If you spend more than £10, that's how you know you've gone overboard. The funny thing is as well, I'm going out for a Nando's tonight. <laughs> See, if I was filming a What I Eat In A Day video today, people would be like, she eats so much, she eats so bad. There's just no win. But I try my best, you know, I try and keep a bit of balance in there. So guys, some exciting news. I'm going to Disneyland. Very excited about that. I'm going in November. I'm going with Alice and Becca. They also have YouTube channels. I'll leave them linked down below. It was a very spontaneous booking. I'm not gonna lie. Basically what happened, Alice tweeted like, someone come to Disneyland with me. And I was like, yeah, I actually will. Like, let's go. And then Becca joined in in the group chat. I wanna come to Disney. So then within, I think it was literally about 24 hours, we'd booked it. We're staying in the pink hotel of dreams at Disneyland Paris. We're going for three nights, I think. So we're gonna have a couple of days in Disney. We're gonna have a day, I think, in total in Paris. So we're gonna go to the Eiffel Tower. We're gonna go to... We haven't really planned much else in Paris, to be honest. We just want to see the Eiffel Tower. I went a couple of years ago. I don't know if any of you were watching my channel then, but I went to Paris two years ago with a whole bunch of YouTubers. There was me, Molly, Lewis, Jazz and Sophie Clough, Eve Bennett, Caitlin, Anastasia. I think that was everyone. Quite a lot of people recently think we've all fallen out, and I'm not sure why. No one, or at least to my knowledge, has had an argument ever. Like we're all still friends, but as you get older, you grow apart and that's just natural. No one's had an argument. There's no drama, no beef. If I see any of them ever, I always say hello. I'm always happy to chat. My favorite memories from Paris were the ones that weren't filmed funnily enough. Like the best parts of that trip for me were in the evening when we'd got home, we were all sat in our big, like big brother style bedroom in our Airbnb and we'd all sit, we'd congregate around mine and Molly's bed and we'd all sit there and we'd play little games and we'd play like Never Have I Ever, things like that, but like with no cameras. And it was just such a nice experience. I loved Paris, it was so fun, it was well good. It makes me sad that people think that we've fallen out because we haven't, we're all mates still. We're just not as close, but that's fine. That's life, isn't it? I've gone off on a proper tangent and I've been forgetting to eat me nuggets. I might try this fiery buffalo wrap because it must be getting cold by now. Come on, hun, let's see you, open you up. One of my friends told me this is quite spicy. Oh my God, it's got onions in. Yes, I'm here for those onions. Here guys, I have no idea what to expect. It doesn't smell very spicy. Oh my God, that's well spicier than I thought. What? That was so unsuspecting. I like it, I just wasn't expecting that. Maybe it was because there's so much raw onion in it. And I think I've got a big bit of sauce as well. My mouth feels like it's on fire. I can feel my tongue pulsating. I'm shook, I'm actually shook. Oh well, I'll try. Oh my God, I don't even think I can eat it. I've ruined my chicken nuggets now. Now my nuggets are gonna taste spicy. Have they just like sabotaged mine or are they all this spicy? Please let me know if you've had one. Was yours like mega spicy as well? No, that's not okay. 
that is not okay. Someone says, what's your favorite TV shows of the moment? Also music. So music for one, George Ezra, he is like my favorite artist. He has been for quite a while now, actually. It's always been Adele and George Ezra. But right now, Adele's taking a back seat, like she's not doing anything. I listened to her album so many times that I eventually got a bit bored of it. But George Ezra, I have just not got sick of him. I've loved him since 2014, at least. That's four years. He's only been big, really, for about a year. So I'm an OG George Ezra fan. Oh my god, I hate when chicken has brown bits in it. You know, like the, the veins. Oh, that, that's actually put me off it. I can't eat that. We're down to the nuggets. I've done a lot better than I thought I would, actually. But yeah, George Ezra, absolute fave. And I've got tickets to see him, finally. I've tried to see him at least three times, and every single time something just goes wrong for me. It's like the universe just doesn't want me to see him. I'd love to meet him one day. I'd love to, like, interview him or something. I'd love to be an interviewer, actually. A lot of people ask me, like, what do you want to do with your career? And the one thing that I think I would do, which is kind of YouTube related, like I feel like YouTube could take me down this pathway, is interviewing people. I just love it. I've always loved it. Me and my best friend made a chat show when we were... How old were we? Leanne, if you're watching, how old were we when we made Friday Night with Hannah? Year seven, I think? We were about 12. And every Friday we filmed a chat show where I was the interviewer and Leanne was the different guests. This sounds so sad, I can't believe I'm admitting this. But we uploaded it on Facebook every single Friday and literally people in our year were waiting for it. We were like famous in our year, I'm telling you. When Friday Night with Hannah was on, absolute banging time in my life, I had people coming up to me from like two years above in school being like, it's Friday Night with Hannah coming on tonight. And like looking back it was so rubbish, like Leanne would dress up as different celebrities and we'd put like a blanket as the background. But back then that was like the standard of video that was made, there wasn't like the Shane Dawson of Facebook or anything like that, that just was Facebook. So since quite a young age actually I've been interested in like interviewing people. So I'd love to do something like that and George Ezra will be the dream. George Ezra and the Vamps, if I got to interview them too, I'd be happy. And favourite TV shows right now. I'm loving, I'm actually surprised, but I'm loving American Horror Story. So Tom and I have started watching it. He's already watched it and I never watched it because I don't like horror things, like, at all. And I was like, oh, I don't like scary things. I don't think I'll like it. And he said, it's not scary. Started on the season The Murder House, which is about ghosts. But luckily he didn't tell me it was about ghosts before we watched it. So I didn't clock on that these people were ghosts until just now. But yeah, American Horror Story, I'm liking that. What else? It's just finished, but Katie Price. I love Katie Price's reality TV shows. I'm going back to my sweet curry. I really like it. I don't think I would. Someone said, how do you get your hair to grow so fast? So... I don't know, you can't really see it when it's in a ponytail, but my hair has grown a lot. And people ask me this all the time as well. My main recommendation is the Lee Stafford hair growth range. I'm not sponsored by Lee Stafford, I wish. I just love their products and I mention them all the time. And it probably sounds like I've got some contract with them. I promise you I haven't. I just genuinely love their products. But the hair growth range has worked wonders for me. I use the shampoo, the conditioner and the deep treatment mask thing. You get like an egg sized scoop of it on your hand, put it in your hair when you're in the shower, leave it on for like 10 minutes and wash it off. And that works wonders. Like, if I'm having a phase where my hair's stopped growing, I'm like, oh, I'd like another inch or so, then I literally will start using this deep treatment again, and before I know it, it's grown. I'll leave links to all those products in the description down below in case anyone else is wanting to grow their hair. Where's my straw for my banana milkshake? Oh, Hans, I'm not gonna be happy if I've lost it. Oh, I can see it, I can see it. Come here, you. I'm loving my fashionable outfit today. What was I saying about wanting to be an Instagrammer? <laughs> I've been filming for so long and I'm probably gonna have to cut so much out because I just ramble all the time. Oh, banana milkshakes from McDonald's are the best ones. Who gets vanilla milkshakes? Like, how vanilla? <laughs> I'm not being funny. It's all about strawberry or banana. Banana is defo the best. So yeah, that's how I grow my hair. Lee Stafford hair growth range. I also sleep with my hair tied in like a loose ponytail or a loose bun quite a lot. And that helps it grow because it like stimulates the hair growth follicle things. The next question I'm gonna answer is a quick one. It's if you could have any brand deal, which one would it be? I've thought about this before and I would love to work with Pandora because I love my Pandora bracelet. I wear it all the time. I haven't got my other bracelets on right now because fake tanned the other night and then I need help putting my other ones back on and I'm just lazy. But I can get my Pandora bracelet on by myself. So I always wear this. I literally adore it. It's like my prized possession. My earrings are Pandora. This ring is Pandora. It's just my absolute favorite. Who else would I love to work with? I'd love to do a collaboration with a brand of like loungewear. I'm not fussed like what brand it's with or anything. Primark would be a good one to do a range of loungewear with them. Like 
joggers, comfy t-shirts, pyjamas, dressing gowns, slippers. I would love that because I'm such a loungy person. So yeah, some sort of loungewear or Pandora brand deal would be my fave. That's the dream, lads. And the final question for today is, where would I most like to travel? I want to travel around Europe. I'm not too fussed about America, to be honest with you. I like Florida. I'd like to go to New York for like a small amount of time. So America for me is not like top of my list. However, what is top of my list, like the German markets, I'm gonna sneeze. You know, like the German Christmas market. I'd like to go to Austria. I'd like to go to more places in Greece, Mykonos. I'd like to go to Italy, to Venice, Sorrento. I think I'd like to do more like that. I'd also really like to go to Iceland. But anyway, guys, I think that brings us to the end of this mukbang. So I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to do any more? I'll try and get better at them and I'll try and chat a bit more while I'm eating because I can't really multitask. I seem to just do one or the other. And if you do want me to do more, let me know where from. Do you want me to do it from KFC, Nando's? What's my other options? Subway. Subway would be quite a good one. So yeah, let me know and do subscribe to see my future videos. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!